What's going on guys, Iron Flash here and I'm here, finally, in a whole new month. This is June, <laughs> but I have finally received my April snack crate. Now, a little backstory as to what's been going on. Um, snack crate was supposed to send me my March 1 at the end of the month, got lost in the mail. They said they couldn't find my address, whatever. I said, okay, that's fine. Send me my April one. Now here's how Snack Crate works. They'll send you your, your box for the month at the end of the month. So you wouldn't get until the month after, which makes sense. Just this one took a little too long to get through Florida. And we all know the shenanigans that are going on over there, which we won't get into. Uh, but I'm excited. This time, let's see what, we, what oh. We have a Snack Crate from Italy. <laughs> Look at this. From Italia. <laughs> Love it. Um, but yeah, look, as you guys can see, Italy right here. I'm excited to see what snacks we have in here. Uh, obviously, it came from a foreign country. And that's really what makes it even more exciting for me. Because it came from a foreign country. The first ever snack crate that I did was within the States. So this one really has more of my full-on attention. Just to see what we have. I'm very excited. Uh, I did get the confirmation that they have shipped out my May one. So hopefully that comes in the mail soon and then it doesn't take two or three weeks in the month of June. So I can do the review on that one. Oh, excuse me. So with that being said, let's dive right into this Italy box of goodies. All right, first things first. Oh, look at that. I see some chocolate. I see some chips. All right. So we have a few facts, a few fun facts. So I would scan the QR code, but I didn't charge my other phone, so I'm not going to today. So we're just going to dive into the snacks with them being here as present. But some fun facts I can read for y'all. Fun facts. Italy shares borders with six countries, San Marino, Austria, Switzerland, Slovenia, Vatican City, and France. We. Oui. They are also in, there is, in the small town of Caldari, the Ortona, a free wine fountain flows 24 hours a day. Ha! BRB, I'm booking a ticket right now. <laughs> also, Italy is home to the own to the only three active volcanoes in Europe. Wow, so if a volcano were to erupt in Italy, they're screwed and it's active. And last but not least, we have Italy is the fifth most visited country in the world. Approximately 65 million people visit the country every year. That is a lot of people and honestly, I wish I wish I could visit Italy, but money. <laughs> uh, here's the inside of the box. If you guys would like to see, let me move my hand. Take a read. I'll hold it right here for a little bit so you guys can read some of it. Or you could pause the video if you'd like. Now, let's dive into these. So, the first thing is we have a, a Salari Preciosi, Le Gustose, Gusto Paprika Dolce. Wow. It's a paprika, paprika uh, I can't talk. Paprika flavored chip. I'm very excited to try this. Um, everything is, I mean, it's in English as well, but it's also, I love to see that it's in a whole different language as well. Let's see how the paprika tastes. Immediately. It's like their form of Lay's, I guess. And you look, and you see the chip. Just that the difference with these, the flavor automatically explodes in your mouth. Pause. <laughs> it's not bad. 
I'd rate it a solid seven out of 10. It could use a little bit more flavor, <laughs> but we have plenty more. All right, we have, man, look at all these snacks. I don't even know where to start. It seems like they like a lot of chocolate over there. Duplo. Nocciolato. Oh, it's a Ferrero candy. Look at that. Wow. Okay. I'm very curious to see what that is. Let me, uh, it's chocolate. It's in, it's in Italian, so it's kind of hard to describe to y'all what it is. Oh, and it expires in October, so this must be one of the long-lasting chocolates. Oh, wow. It comes in threes. It's all, I think it's a cookie, actually. Yeah, it's cookie-like. Cookie-like chocolate. Oh, my God. Magnifico, wow. Let me cleanse the palate real quick. Wow. It, wow. Just cleansing the palate for the next uh, snack. It's chocolatey, but it's not overwhelm, overwhelmingly chocolatey. The cookie on it is really crisp and it's, it's really tasty. If you guys have ever had the Ferrero Rocher chocolates, I believe that's how they're called. I don't want to butcher the name. Uh, it kind of tastes like that, just a little bit more crunchy and chocolatey. And it looks like that's the people that make this, this, this sort of cookie that's right here. I loved it. I think it was fantastic. So, wow. On to the next. We have some cookies. These is called, they're classic cocoa and milk. Loker um, cookies. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this style of cookie. It, it existed obviously for Hispanic heritage and everything. So they look really, they look tasty just from the picture. So I'm sure they're going to be tasty and very well looking in we get one out of this package. And then you just break it. And then boom. Here's the cookie. Mmm. Yes. I love it. I got some cookie on my mouse. Love it. Let me eat the other one that it came with. There's a bunch more in here. Wow. I wish you guys could taste what I'm tasting. Because I know some sometimes these cookies can come very, very dry. Which would kill the flavor completely. But this, the chocolatey uh, goodness that it's blended with because it's cocoa and milk is the flavor so i guess it's the milk it's almost like an oreo cookie but the cocoa um almost tastes like dark chocolate and it's very very uh it's not overwhelming so with the style of cookie that this is it makes it that much better so i think this was this is good i think so far that's my favorite one and wash out all, all this chocolate out of my mouth. <laughs> all right, we're down to two. These look like the those those bigger cheese its that they make now, but these are called crocantele or crocantelle. Gusto pizza. Finally, something pizza flavored. Look at that, <laughs> a pizza flavored chip. Now we've all tried, obviously, we tried Pringles pizza. We've tried, I don't know if there's any other pizza flavored chip out there. I don't know if Cheez-Its makes it, 
either. Um, but what does that say? Oh, whatever. I'm very excited to try this. I love pizza. So let's see. Oh wow, they look seasoned. Here's the back of the chip. And they look pretty chunky too. So they, they, they... Oh wow. I always wonder how they flavor these because it tastes just like pizza. I'm trying to take a small bite, but it broke just to see if there's anything on the inside. The mixture of sweet and savory from this box is really good. Um, it's not my favorite, but it definitely has more flavor than that first bag of chips that I tasted. Let me just... Mwah. I think that washed away all the sweetness. Let's get down to our last snack. This looks like it's a muffin. Blondi Morta Chocolato. Look at that. I sure hope it's a moist muffin or whatever it is, but it looks like a muffin with like the inside having chocolate on top of chocolate. I wish I could read in Italian. I don't know if it's just one or if it's two. Oh, it's a whole thing. Holy crap. Let me take it out of its bag real quick for y'all so y'all can see it. All right, so I'm not going to take it out completely because it looks like it's a little messy. But this is what it looks like. It's a piece of bread. Um, it's very, very soft. It's not hard. So that tells me it's going to be flavorful. Here's the bottom of it. I'm not entirely sure what this is. I'm hoping it's not coconut. I'm not a big fan of coconut. So let's, let's, let's bite. It almost tastes like coffee. Like if they put the coffee flavoring inside of the bread. Doesn't look like they put too much chocolate, but there's the chocolate on the inside. But it's not bad. It almost have like, it has this like this taste of coffee bread, which is um, it's never been my favorite, but the chocolate complements it. Um, yeah, it's not bad. I enjoy it. Uh, would it be something I eat? Maybe with a cup of milk or a cup of coffee. <laughs> I do love me some coffee. But these are all the snacks that came with this box. Uh, due to the problems that I've had so far with Snack Crate, I will not be upgrading the mini box to the bigger box until they get it together. If they can get it together, I will gladly upgrade my box. But let's rate these. I said I gave these a 7 out of 10. Uh, I will give these chips... A five out of ten. I wasn't that that um, invested in them, but I, I gave them a five just to be in the solid middle, and not too low, not too high because they're not bad. They're not terrible. They're just not my cup of tea. Um, this, like I said, if I had a glass of milk or a cup of coffee with it, it would probably be a eight out of ten. But without it, it kind of the flavor's a little bit underwhelming and overwhelming at the same time. So I would have to give this one a 4 out of 10. Um, please don't hate me, Italy. <laughs> uh, these guys right here definitely get an 8 out of 10. I love these chocolates. I love the style of chocolate. I've always been a fan of, of like uh, the Ferrero Rocher uh, chocolates. And these get a 9 out of 10. It's not a full 10 out of 10 just because of how small they are. And... Also, these need to be eaten with a glass of milk or a cup of coffee. <clears throat> but these by far were my favorite ones. Uh, and there you have it, folks. Um, this is the Italy box. 
Italy snack crate box, I should say. Thank you for joining me and trying all these variety of snacks. Uh, it's always fun to try new things for you guys. This was, it was tasty, sweet and savory. It looks like they love um, their chocolate because it was mainly chocolate in here. And that's okay. I love me some good chocolate. I'm not a big candy guy, but I do love me some good chocolate. Uh, <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, post it in the comment below. Or if you guys have any uh, feedback on if you've tried any of these before. If you've traveled to Italy, uh, tell me about your experience in Italy. If you traveled to Italy and tried any of these snacks over there. Because these are all local snacks from Italy itself. So don't be scared to leave a comment below. And, and with that being said, y'all, I'll see y'all in the next Snack Crate. Hit the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to ding that bell. Iron Flash is out of here.